Hello there. I'd like to talk about some various strands that I'm seeing happening around the world and try to pull them together for you so that you have an understanding of what I'm seeing happening. First of all, Israel carried out its biggest security drill, preparation for a possible tension, war, who knows, with Iran, with anything, there's a lot of tension going on there. Israel did its biggest security drill it's ever done. Another 17,000 troops go out to Afghanistan. Iran, it looks like there could be even a toppling of a government with the unrest and the demonstrations and the deaths that have happened so far. This is just the start. The FDIC in the United States, it's running remarkably short of funds. Please be careful if you think that your money is guaranteed, no matter where you are in the world, many wet world, many Western countries have governments of guaranteed bank deposits. I would be very careful that in the medium to long term, your money may in fact not be safe. Also, I would say to you that you need some gold and silver in your portfolio. Northwestern Mutual, an insurance company, in 152 years has never invested in gold and silver, has suddenly built up reserves of $400 million worth of gold. If the big boys are starting to do it, you need to have some protection in your portfolio. I strongly advise that you look at doing that. Be aware if you're in the United States, Patriot Act 1 and Patriot Act 2. It enables banks, if they're running into trouble and you've got a security deposit box with them, they can confiscate the goods in that box if they are guns, ammunition, anything like that, but also gold, silver, commodities, they can confiscate the lot by law. So please, if you have gold and silver, take delivery of it yourself and be aware if you're in the United States, your money is not safe. Unemployment. No matter what happens, every time they come out with figures, when the next figures come out, the previous figures have been far too optimistic. Seeing this more and more, uh, it's saying that employment, unemployment could well go to 25%, even 30%, and it's particularly hitting young people. So you're gonna see a rise in crime, discontent, and this I can see rising. I see more huge disruption, more foreclosures, more crime, more problems in the economy, another 30 billion gone to GM to prop it up. This is all going on. I really feel as though Here's what you need to do. Number one, when you're reading the media, be careful, read it carefully and look at whose viewpoint are you reading. If you're reading about the housing market, for example, and it's talking about the market's turned and we're recovering, is it the real estate industry who are reporting? Who is it? Make sure you're really aware of the bias of the kind of reporting that you're receiving. And try not to follow the crowd because People that follow the crowd without thinking about it are going to be in the worst trouble as this whole fiasco unfolds. So really trust yourself and your own views and act on that. If you're prepared in your thinking, you can help your family, your loved ones, the people around you. And as well, should the time come, you can help other people who may well need help. Have some liquid funds outside of any bank or institution, probably at least three months living expenses. If you can get some gold and some silver, which you may well be able to use for bartering. If you've seen on YouTube, somebody has been showing that there has been some bartering going on in the United States already. And this guy's YouTube channel has been suspended because he's shown that that's been going on. I would also say that you need to be ready and flexible for change. What may have worked even just a week ago may not be appropriate now. So 24 seven, you've got to keep on top of it. I will do my very best to keep you as updated as I can from my impartial viewpoint. And I wish you all the best and thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.